it is a great pleasure for myself to welcome you to this uh, high-level uh, conference, which brings us together to discuss the urgent and complex um, challenge of African swine fever. The wealth of uh, experience and expertise from all over the world present in this room today, I believe is indicative, and it not only reflects the gravity of the situation we face, but also the global magnitude of the risks, as well as our collective determination to address it. The unprecedented global spread of African swine fever is a challenge that poses a threat to the entire pig sector worldwide and can have significant adverse consequences for our environment, ecosystem, as well as a negative impact, as we all know, on agriculture and trade. So far, it has only been completely eradicated in one country, specifically the Czech Republic. When looking at what we can all learn from this positive experience, one very important element stands out, and that is collaboration. I can therefore say that I'm very happy to be here with you today, because in the short time that I have been in charge of this portfolio, I have become aware that it is possible to fight this disease, but only by putting effective measures in place and by working together across borders. As Commissioner for Health and Food Safety, I'm proud to be responsible for overseeing the state-of-the-art animal disease risk management system in Europe. But regardless of how strong our system in Europe is, we will never be able to eradicate this disease on our own. To do so, a global and common response and commitment is essential. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to outline three essential points where we need to step up our action as a priority. Firstly, close and effective collaboration and communication between governments, international and national organizations, as well as between farmers, hunters, producers, and citizens are key. We have the responsibility to ensure that the necessary information is available across society. This concerns everyone, from our citizens who need to be made fully aware of the consequences of bringing contaminated products across borders, to our farmers who need to have sufficient information and knowledge on how to improve biosecurity measures on the farm. We also have the responsibility to ensure that citizens are fully aware that there is no threat to human health, that food security is ensured, and that we do our utmost to ensure that the poor production industry is protected. From our European perspective, regionalization measures do ensure that all meat being exported to, from the EU is strictly controlled, but we can definitely do a great deal more for awareness raising. Secondly, when we look at how the disease has spread in recent years, it is clear that no country nor any continent in the world will be able to fight this disease on their own. We all need to enforce the standards set by the World Animal Health Organization, which will allow safe travel and trade to continue and ensure the sustainability of pig farming and production. Trust and confidence are also essential to ensure safe trade and business continuity. It is only through an open and honest dialogue that we can best promote the recognition of regionalization and zoning between trading partners. All of us, we need to reach out to our trading partners and explain the effectiveness and, of, and stringency of the measures we are taking. Thirdly, information sharing. We need to promote transparent and timely data exchanges, as well as coordinated research initiatives when it comes to developing a vaccine. Let us all be clear. Without a vaccine, the global eradication of the disease will be very difficult. We also need to share our best practices, our experiences on both successful and unsuccessful policies and initiatives in this crucial area 
This is the primary reason that I have invited you to this meeting. The European Commission has spent 110 million euros since 2014 in the fight against this fever, but more needs to be done, including at the global level. Ladies and gentlemen, everything possible must be done to limit the global consequences of the African swine fever. It is only by combining our efforts and resources that we will succeed. Our trade depends on the actions we all take together. Our farming sector and our citizens expect action. Let us therefore work together in global coordination and with very clear determination to bring results against this serious disease. And I wish us all a very successful conference. Thank you.